Now, KAMR Local 4 Sports with Zach Martin. Today was quite an honor for High Plains High School football teams. There are three games today at Jerry's World. All three involved a panhandle team. Let's start with the one that just wrapped up a little bit ago. Groover taking on Mart. And honestly, Mart was a tremendous team. I watched this game from beginning to end, and they were simply the better team. Groover already down 20, but Keegan Kelps finds Jalen Conyers for the first down. Conyers, he had a big day himself. This time he's the quarterback. He's going to leap into the end zone to make it 20 to 6. But he actually broke the 2A state record for receiving yards in a game. Here he is on a quick pass. That goes the distance to make it 27 to 12. But Mart, they were just too much. They're opening it up here. Rod Rell Freeman takes it to the house. 30 yard touchdown run here. He's actually their backup quarterback. Their starting quarterback typically is injured. Next year, they're going to have both of those players. Really starting to get out of hand here. Shatidrick Bailey, three yard run to extend Mart's lead, and it would only go from there. Mart goes on to win their second straight state championship. The sky. Wasn't falling for all High Plains teams, though. McLean came to play this afternoon. It's going to be Ben Crockett up the middle here for the 47-yard score to make it 8 nothing. I promise you that is not the last time I say his name in this highlight. Crockett again, this time around the left side. He makes it 16 nothing here, and Crockett ended up also breaking a UIL state record for 1A. He had nine rushing touchdowns. He continues to shine on this one, 17-yard score. Three first quarter tutties for Crockett. He ended up with nine, as I said. Here is uh, the team that they were playing. It seems to be a good play from them, but Crockett and McLean was just too good. They go on to win this one 100 to 70. And as I said, nine rushing touchdowns, 12 total. Here he is talking about his performance. It was a good team win. I had good blockers. Everybody got their assignments done. And I just tried to hit the hole as hard as I could. I don't like having negative plays, and like the first play of the game, they got us pretty quick, but that second play, we took off. The first uh, game of the day was Follett taking on Strawn, and it was pretty much all Strawn. Here's Carlos Villanueva extending their lead 60 0 this run up the middle. Follett looking to pick up a first down on third down here. And Christian Barber corrals the snap and will take it one yard short of the first down marker. Next play, Strawn's going to hold on fourth down. Follett only had one first down this entire game. I understand it's not the way they wanted to end this season, but this year was truly an awesome season for Follett. It was fantastic. These guys are just, they're, they're awesome. Awesome families, awesome community, uh, great school system. I mean, from, from Ms. Copley to, to Mr. All to our board, uh, just a fantastic place. Uh, and, and, you know, our, our school is led by Christian here and, and these seniors, and uh, yeah, I couldn't be more proud of uh, a group of boys.